And everybody is set for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers here at Candlestick Park. This is a game today that could come down to the two running backs. Two of the real stars of the sport. Two players who went in fantasy drafts really high. How do you see this one going down today? Yeah, and how's your fantasy team? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, we won't talk that. about that. Let's talk about good things. But, you know, these, hey, these two teams are stars. You know why? Because we can see how the football team is built. And I think it is no doubt about it. The offensive line is a big part of it. They always have hope that they block their guy a little bit these running backs can make a big play out of it. Flex round, flex round. First down, offense go. readying Ohio. for the snap. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. That pass play picks up a first down. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Bolden's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. And he's going to pitch it here. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down here after that run play. Second and 15. And he's forced to the ground. When it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Way, third down. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Well, this is a classic case, wasn't it? A blitz bend, but don't break. That's what the defense did. They gave up some first downs, but they stopped the offense when it counted. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Eyeing that left side. That reception picks up the first down. Now I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down. You get it. I'll give you that. But I still think it was a bad decision. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Gore is lined up in a single back formation. Working that left side. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The throw to the left. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Looks to his left, and Crabtree's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This has been a long drive so far. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Second and goal to go. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind.
the 49ers for the extra point. Extra point is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Russell Wilson has it under center. First down and 10. Under pressure and incomplete. Two tight ends. Second attempt. Flag is out. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. The defense, a little jumpy right there. On defense, when you're a defensive back, it's so much about timing. That time, he times it perfect, and he jumps up and knocks the ball down. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. It's a second and five here. This coughed up the football. That last play made by Patrick Willis. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. Lynch, no one's going to get him now. The 40, the 30. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you've got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shot. The football was incomplete. Tate's a receiver in the slot. Second and ten. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Throws to the right. With two hands, he has it. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Offense lines up here. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. The Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Frank Gore is in the backfield. He'll fire it out to the left. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. What a nice long pass that time by the quarterback. Just tremendous touch. He just floats it in there like a feather and gets it done. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Backfield, single back set. On second and ten. Looking across the middle, Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. 
when you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. He sends the halfback in motion. First and 10. Running away from the pressure. Frank Gore is in the backfield. They better hurry to get the snap. On his way. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. He made it. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Welcome back, folks. We're getting set for the start of the next quarter. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He'll start his return. Tate's in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Lynch is lined up as the single back. Second and ten. Throwing now to his left. Golden Tate makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The defense gets the sack. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. He'll fire it out to the left. Throws a strike. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. Handoff. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Offense lines up here. Trying to work that left side. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Now first and ten. He's scrambling now. Shakes off the tackle. Eyeing that left side. Tipped away. You cannot play quarterback in the NFL anymore if you don't have good footwork. And that means in the, inside the pocket or outside the pocket. Avoid those sacks. Offense lines up here. Second and ten. Working that left side. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Ohio! Ohio! Gore is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Third and ten. Tossing it to the running back. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Halfback sent in motion. The 
gets away from the pressure. Has some space to work with. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? That long gain sets them up here on this play. They deck him in the backfield. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Coming up, second down. The throw to the left. He's wide open for the grab. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and two. Going to take off with it. Got a little crease. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Tackles made. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Offense lines up here. Second and six. Looks to his left. Catch is made, and that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Third down on the way to the ground here, to the right side. Good job by the defense at time, stopping them inches short of the goal line. Big play. Mounting a serious drive. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Head on, right there at the 20. They face first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's almost intercepted. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses him. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and ten. Wilson's play action. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses him. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. Going for the deep ball. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job of the defensive back. Split backfield here. He'll fire it out to the left. They'll turn it over on downs. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't Black worry Rail! about it. Score Black here Rail! and just keep playing. Black Rail! Black Rail! Black Rail! Black Rail! Black Rail! Black Rail! 
Bolden lined up in the slot. First and ten, looking for an open receiver on the right. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First and goal. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Second down after the incompletion. He's looking to... The margin is increased with another touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. They're setting up return. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and 10. Wilson still has it after some nifty play action. What a catch. He's into the open. Touchdown, Seahawks. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. In on the stop. Frank Gore is in the backfield, throws to the right, makes the catch, going to lose yards here. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Let's round, let's round, let's round, let's go. Second down and 12, challenging the defenders to the right side, very nearly intercepted. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision you got to throw it sometimes Let's deep round. down the middle. Ohio. The safeties Ohio. are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Third down and 12. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Impressive piece of running by Gore. The 49ers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Gore is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Oh, and almost picked off that time. It was a jump ball in essence for that throw, and in the end, the defense was able to make the play and deny the completion. In the NFL, it's always about the most physical guy wins, and that time it was the defensive player. Good job. Second and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offensive scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Running back in motion here. Third and 16. Looking to the right side and throwing. Games. 16. The 49ers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. The 49ers in field goal formation. And it's a fake. And he was wide open. Dante is getting 
getting ugly out here. Hey, you gotta be on your toes on the defensive side. Always think there could be a fake. This time the fake, the throw down the field, and that pass leads to a touchdown. That does it here for the first half. Seahawks trail in this one. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers are leading by 29. Let's find out the latest from the sideline. Danielle Bellini is there reporting. Guys, I got a chance to quickly speak with Colin Kaepernick during halftime. So far, his team is out in front, and he told me the important thing now is playing smart. If they can control play and just avoid costly mistakes, they'll be in good shape in this second half. That's all from down here, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Offense lines up here. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. And it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Going across the middle, he's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass, even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Play action. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Airing it out. Hauls it in deep down the middle. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? After the long game, let's see what they do here. They're going back up top. That pass was hers. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. Russell scores the touchdown. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. And it looks like the receiving team has recovered. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and ten as they go ground here. Makes a move and he's free. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down here after the run. Back to the ground now on first down. For only a yard. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone. Once they get inside the red zone, this is a nice change up. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run but it only gets a short game. Second down here. They feed him the ball again. And he'll go to the left. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, when the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead, 
It's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? Lining up now for the two. Here we go. One, two, one. Pitches it back. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The receiving team has the recovery. Hates a receiver in the slot. First and ten. He had no time to get set. That leads us to second down. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Lynch is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Third and ten. Wilson still got the interception. And he spins away. He stacked up at that point. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Frank Gore gets it here, and that's good for only a yard or two. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. Colin Kaepernick under center. Here on third and five. Flip to the outside. This offense can't be stopped for a third down, no matter the distance. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. First and ten. Here's the quick toss. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. This will be second down. The 49ers get a first down. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. And he's brought to the ground. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. First down and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That catch gives them a first down. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering there. 
teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Games five. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. The running back goes in motion. The final quarter begins with this snap. And that's enough for a first down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. First and goal. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Another touchdown to increase the lead. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. He's looking to the right. So for two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. The official whistles this one dead. This is going to be a delay of game. Offense. Still first down. After that penalty, it'll be first and 15. Defense calls a timeout.
first and 15 after the penalty. Setting up screen. And intercepted! The tackle was made. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. They come to the line, and it's first down. The give. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. That's a timeout by the D. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. They'll go ground. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Ohio, Ohio. Third down, following the run. Trying to beat the play clock. Kaepernick from the gun. Touchdown. They're just running it up. It is so disappointing when you're down near the goal line and you don't score. Well, the offense doesn't have to know that disappointment this time. Good job, good play call, and a beautiful throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. And the extra point is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. Well, you got to start somewhere. You needed that first touchdown to get momentum on your side. You're down by a lot of points. Don't worry about it. Now you got some energy. You're thinking positive. Let's see what happens. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. Complete. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. That kick came right at them, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. That'll stop the play right there. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. Bolden's in the slot. Running a little college-like option. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Bolden's lined up in the slot. Let's go. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Third and four. Halfback counter. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. This will be a 41-yard field goal try. And it's a fake, throws to the right. The 49ers now move the chains. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness and try to stop them for once. Ohio! First down here after the completion. They need to get the playoff. Handoff, straight ahead. And they score again here to pad the lead. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The 49ers for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He will run this one back. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. A foot race to the end zone. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. The receiving team has the recovery. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. They tackle him for a loss. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Could have been intercepted. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field. Play tight, man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Colin Kaepernick under center. He'll fire it out to the left. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Ball comes out. There's a call we don't see all that often. An illegal forward pass. Yeah, that's right. The quarterback that time was past the line of scrimmage. Uh, just lost. He lost his judgment where he was at on the football field. I can understand why. 
trying to avoid so many hits. Didn't realize he crossed the line of scrimmage. Offense lines up here. Kaepernick will keep it on the quarterback sneak. Well, anytime it's fourth and short, you always got to be alert for the quarterback sneak. This guy is very good at it. Quick snap count, catches the defense by surprise, and gets the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And they sacked the quarterback. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free and they sacked the quarterback. Now looking at third down. Trying to work that left side. The 49ers get a first down. That brings the play to an end. This offense has been spectacular today, Jim. Here they are in a red zone.